This is not age appropriate for toddlers. Oh my gosh, Roland, put on some clothes. Oh my gosh, now dad's naked. Dad, put some clothes on. No, 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 I'm naked. It's a whole different party going up here. And the queen's like, I want to get in on this. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of Bit Life Controls My Sims Royal Edition. I am so excited for today's episode because we are going to have so many birthdays, so many people aging up. We are probably going to get to see Duchess Lottie as a teen. And if she is anything like little Victoria was, whew, we better watch out, you guys. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode. Uh, let's go ahead and check in on our royal family. So I thought that just, you know, as a courtesy to everyone, I would start the episode with us just watching newly aged up, beautiful little Roland sleeping in his bed. What a cutie pie. He actually is supposed to register for university. He wants to go to school for English. So he start, he began studying English. So just a quick recap, at the age of 43, Victoria graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in nursing. She started a dental school. My son, Roland, began studying English at university and our daughter, Duchess Willow, started primary school. When we look at little Lottie, she is 13 years old and Willow is five. We also, in the last episode, we gave birth to Edwin, the Duke of a very interesting name. I'm calling him the Duke of Attenborough now, I've decided. <laughs> but anyways, so little Edwin has aged up, so I'm actually gonna age up Madison one year. Oh, she is just living her best life in her wedding gown after her uh, renewing her vows in the last episode. That was a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and to start things off, let's age up Madison one more year. Photo shoot. Hard Magazine has offered you a deal to appear nude in its June issue. Whew. I don't know. I feel like because she has a lot of kids that she's trying to inspire. I don't know if Madison really would do this. Plus, we really have so much money. We don't need it. So I'm going to say no. Prince Harrison and I have been married for 20 years. I turned down the opp opportunity to appear nude in the June issue of Torrid Magazine. Oh no, that's the end of the world. So that has us with Duchess Lottie, who is 14 years old now. And little Duchess Willow, who is six. Oh, can we take her to the doctor again? Uh, we'll try Do Dr. Buckingham. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. How is her health? Her health is so low. I don't know what to do. So I guess we're just going to have to leave it as is and hope for the best. I think we should probably all go out for a birthday dinner with everyone and we will age up Lottie and Willow. Unfortunately, we can't age up Edwin um, without just doing it through the crib. So I think I'm going to age him up and then we'll all go out for a birthday dinner with everyone to a really nice fancy restaurant where we can celebrate everyone's birthday. I'm gonna have her come over here and we are going to go ahead and age up little Edwin. One of my viewers, Jasmine, she was like, oh, I think it would be really cool if Edwin had black hair like Madison, which I think would be cool too. The king has sent us a gift. Duke Edwin aged up. Fussy, woohoo. Okay. Something is definitely wrong with that scenario. <laughs> was Harrison the one who cheated on Madison or <laughs> maybe Madison was the one who cheated <laughs> it does look like he aged up with blonde hair though we'll have to go take everything off of him in cast and see what we're gonna do from there when I go under his profile to edit him uh, let's see hair shows that he's got like brownie red hair I'm gonna change it to black that way we can have a son with black hair so he's got black hair and brown eyes okay anyways let's take all of this custom content off of this little cutie he did get the brown eyes 
Oh, it's just a CC overlay. Okay. Oh, he's really cute. He looks so much like his dad. Oh my gosh. The blonde looks great on him too, but we will do black. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give Duke Edwin the makeover of a royal lifetime, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm actually so excited to show you little cutie pie here. I think he's so cute. I'm glad we decided to go with the black hair, and I was really feeling yellow for him, so I tried to keep a yellow theme, except for his formal, which I think is really cute. So, oh my gosh, how cute is this little jumper with the little bears? I just love it. But yeah, so you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments below what you think of little Edwin all aged up. I think he is an absolute cutie. So let's go ahead, jump back into the game, and we will go for a birthday dinner with everybody. Okay, so we're back here. I wanted to see if there was like a, an option to go for dinner, but it looks like there's not really a way for us to just act like for activities, go for dinner. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under relationships and I'm gonna go spend time with everybody. Time well spent. Okay, so did we go for dinner with anyone? So it looks like she's gone mountain climbing quite a few times with her friends. We should try to do that in one of these episodes here. I think that would be a lot of fun. Maybe after this episode, after we age up Matt, or after we age up all the kids, you know, they're all starting to get along, you know, get through life a little bit here. You know, they're all getting a little bit older, a little bit more independent. Maybe Madison can go on a girl's trip with her friends and just do some mountain climbing and we can just spend an episode maybe with Victoria and her and maybe even little Lottie. So I'm just going to delete everything. This was the old gym, so it's going to become Edwin's little, I think this used to be, yeah, this was the old gym. So this can become Edwin's bedroom. I just finished Edwin's bedroom. I think it is so cute. I... <laughs> threw up yellow all over it and I put these like cool robots on the wall they're kind of hidden but they're kind of there I don't know I just thought it was really cool so he's got his little bookshelf he's got some art on the wall he's got some cute little sitting area some toys he's got his little blick block type thing he's got his tv movies and his toy box here is his little bed so I hope you guys like what I did with his bedroom I think it turned out super duper cute so here he is in the game. Oh, he is so cute. He looks so much like his dad. So we will get everyone to travel together to go out for dinner. So I'm gonna download this restaurant. It is just under fancy restaurant, under most popular, and it was created by Joel C. 1A2005. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that. Ooh, that's so cool. Isn't that neat? Oh, and it's got some stuff for the kiddos to do. That's awesome. So there's a bar upstairs and then below, but we have a lot of people coming to dinner, these two tables. And then I'll have Harrison request one and Madison request the other, and then maybe everyone will be able to sit. That's my theory, I don't know. Okay, so everyone should arrive here pretty quick. This is not age appropriate for toddlers. What? Why are you nude? There must be some lot traits for this place that makes it. Oh, party place, chef's kitchen and clothing optional. There we go. So let's just make it toddler friendly. There we go. <laughs> now we should be able to bring the toddlers here. Oh my gosh, Roland, put on some clothes. Uh, clothes are not optional. <laughs> Look at Roland's big face. He's like, now this is my type of location. Ooh, these two are getting on it. This lot is not age appropriate for teens. Oh my gosh, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, now dad's naked. Dad, put some clothes on. No, 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 I'm naked. Okay, and we need a new restaurant. <laughs> Everyone keeps getting naked. Dad's just whipping his clothes off. What about this place? Okay, let's try this restaurant. We're gonna try this restaurant by XDX CXD. Furnished, yes, let's do this. Let's hope that people will stop taking their clothes off. 
Oh my gosh. Mom took her clothes off. Harrison's out here naked. There's no way uh, the queen would be just hanging out naked. She's just like living her best life. Um, I think, oh my gosh, can you please put some clothes on Harrison, please? I'm just begging you. No, why is everyone getting naked? <laughs> Oh, I give up. Okay, well, I guess this is just going to be a naked dinner because, <laughs> oh gosh, this is a really fancy restaurant. I'm hoping that this one will be better for us. So we will maybe try to request a table here soon. Oh, look, he's just carrying his toddler around naked. Can you please put some clothes on, Harrison? I mean, I'm sure Madison, and I mean, I'm not knocking it either. We'd love to see it. You're looking great. Just put some clothes on. Thank you. Now, where's the queen? It is taking so long to make sure everyone's just... <laughs> Looks like the chef is just going to cook for us naked. Whatever, that's fine. And little Willow is on her way. What a cutie. Okay, so while we're waiting to be able to um, request a table, I'm going to get Harrison to give food to Willow. And we'll get Roland to wake up and give food to little Edwin. That way they can eat. And we've got little Victoria here looking great. Let's get mom to come over and just do friendly, ask about her future plans, see how school was going. Um, we heard last that Victoria actually is decided to go to a dental school of all schools, so that's good. And hopefully soon we should be able to request a table. We always have to wait for the staff to get here. Everyone's just naked upstairs. Oh boy. It's a whole different party going up here. And the queen's like, I want to get in on this. Hey, you're at the end of your life. You know what, Ma? You do you. Whatever makes you smile. I feel like Roland is probably very interested in that also. I'd like to know when the staff are going to get here. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. Okay, I think we're going to go home and we'll try again tomorrow night. Looks like Victoria is going to stay here with the queen and her grandpa and ha get their drink on. They're like, now this is our kind of place. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we tried. Well, since Harrison... Okay, so we're back home now. Harrison is still convinced that uh, he shouldn't have his clothes on. <laughs> I'll let him go uh, utilize this moment. <laughs> he just refuses to put clothes on now. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Lottie. She's scarred for life. This house is impossible to get to sleep. I got one to sleep, and then this one's up just wobbling around. Look at her. She's like, I'm going to go see Roland. I'm going to go bug blood. Oh, my God. Is she not so stinking precious? I just love her. Okay. So, I am going to get Madison to do some of her royal duties here and later today we'll have a dinner party at our house because apparently last time we went out that did not go over so well okay so for law review require all the citizens who love someone to tell that person at least one time <gasps> support it oh I love that and then uh, we will do some public service. You signed a decree that provides free socks for all school children in the United Kingdom. Oh, that's so nice of us. We got good karma from that. I love that. Um, let's give Roland a gift. Let's, we should gift him some money because he's going to be probably moving out soon. So we should probably give him some money. We'll give him 10000 Yay, he really appreciated it. Oh, let's give everyone money. Where's little Victoria? Give money. I'll give you. She was really happy about that. Okay. Who else? Ooh, Lottie's a little young. Our mom is probably super rich, so she probably doesn't need our money. And she's not super generous. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll age up one more year. Duchess Lottie, tonsillitis. Your daughter, Duchess Lottie, is suffering from tonsillitis. <gasps> Infidel, while attempting to use a public toilet, a political activist tries to touch your crown. <gasps> what will you do? Imprison her. Locked away in the cellar. You had a commoner in prison after she tried to touch your crown. Yeah. Ooh, our respect has gone down. That's not good. And we also just yelled at our daughter. She's, 
I don't know. Like, I feel like maybe I was a little harsh on her. Our, our respect went down a little bit. But at some point, you know, you gotta just let the royals be. You shouldn't be touching them, you know? That's like almost physical assault. I think we're gonna spin it like she touched the crown because she was trying to steal the crown. Okay, diagnosis. Dr. Buckingham has established that your daughter, Duchess Lottie, is suffering from tonsillitis. Select the treatment today, courtesy of the United Kingdom's free healthcare system. Obviously, we're treating her for tonsillitis. Hi, Hopes. Dr. Buckingham treated your daughter and cured. Your daughter has been cured. Whew. Okay, and Roland moved out. Oh my gosh, 45 years old and Roland moved out. Oh, I'm just so shit. Okay, so we are going to do a birthday party. Uh, we'll make Lottie the main birthday sim. And then obviously we're not gonna invite anyone in our house. We'll invite Victoria to come to her sister's birthday party. We'll invite Jade and Amelia. Um, we will invite uh, George, we won't invite George, I know. Lucas is still our friend. Dad, Grandpa, sure. Margot, Robbie can come, the Queen can come. I think that's great, perfect. So I've gone ahead and I've put some birthday gifts here for everyone. I also put out a little foos table for Roland because I think his dad is gonna want to spend some time with him uh, before he moves out. So we will say goodbye to little Roland. Oh, look at these two flirting with each other after all these years. Okay, so hopefully we should have a dinner here at some point. I'm gonna get little Lottie to come over and open birthday presents with Willow. I think that'll be cute. Lottie is in the process of opening her birthday gifts. Uh, she got one large pet poop. Oh, she's not happy about that. Oh, she got a Creative Art Thou activity table. A Penguin Vision television set. Okay, well, it's something. And then I'm gonna get you to come play with your father. Harrison's gonna be like, come on, Roland, let's go hang out in the office here. It's gonna be like, you know, son, uh, university is gonna be a lot of fun for you. It's gonna be a lot of things. You're gonna meet a lot of guys who aren't always really nice and they might give you a hard time, you know. You just have to remember to hold your own and don't worry about what other people say about you, just be yourself. So I think that Roland's happy about that and he's like, you know, of course we're gonna make sure you get the place, a good place where you can stay and, you know, we won't be far off. If you ever need anything, just call me or your mother. And... We'll get little Lottie to come over and blow out her birthday candles. Oh, I think something's gonna happen this time. There we go, third time's the charm. <laughs> Um, Duchess Lottie aged up. Okay, so she's a perfectionist. I would like to give her now that we have the snowy escape pack, I think she would be proper. Um, I think it was uh, Aussie Cast Plays who thought that would be a good trait for her, and I do agree. So these Sims tend to disapprove of other Sims improper behavior, such as mean or mischievous socials, but find themselves happier in formal outfits and have a much easier time with friendly and romantic socials. Um, and for her um, aspiration, I think, she would probably be education, I bet. So we'll let her be academic. Oh, she definitely aged up cute. She's gonna be super beautiful once we give her her makeover, I'm sure of it. She got really um, big eyebrows <laughs> and almost a non-existent chin, but we'll see what we can do about that. Okay, so here she comes. So little Willow will age up to you guys into a little girl. I'm so excited. And then in the next episode, I think we'll take all of the girls on a girl's trip. Let's see her. Where are you going? Willow. Oh, you're coming over here to age up. Okay. Okay, so she was a fussy kid also. She looks super cute. She was 
fussy. So if we randomize, she got the bookworm trait. I don't think she's a bookworm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go maybe art lover for her and we can make her social butterfly. Oh, she got purple hair. Oh, but well, she looks so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, I have no patience. We are going to jump in to create a sim right away. Right of right of fay. <laughs> right away and we will check these girls out i'm so excited to see them okay so here's little willow wow those are some eyebrows those are some real eyebrows and then little lottie she has like no chin i think i might give her a little bit of a chin just so she doesn't look totally chinless there we go. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to go give these girls a makeover and I will be back in a little while. All righty, you guys. So my face cam died because I was <laughs> giving these girls their makeovers for way too long. So I just wanted to quickly jump back on here, give you a walkthrough of the two duchesses and their makeovers so we have here little willow who is looking absolutely fabulous i am so obsessed with her i love this hair color this was the only hair that i had that really fit with her hair color that she had as a toddler i think as she gets older it'll get a little bit darker but still wanted to keep that strawberry red color so this is her everyday look she's still really young so i feel like her mom wouldn't be as hard on her about being super um fancy or like you know properly dressed but she's still dressed like a proper little girl um this is her formal and for the duchesses because they are technically royal and they have royal names i wanted to make sure that they got the little crown so since she's younger she got just the little headband uh with the royal jewels and yeah, so just for the rest of her outfits, I tried to keep that color theme in line and I think she turned out really cute. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments below. And let's go check out little Lottie. So here she is, how gorgeous is she? Um, so for her look, I decided to go with very proper. Even in her everyday, she doesn't really wear jeans. She's more of like a, uh, a slacks type of girl, very modest. And I did give her the royal jewels for a brooch on her sweater and just a cute little necklace, but still very understated. I feel like she's probably a little bit more modest than her mom is. <laughs> Um, so here her, here she is in her formal, in her formal, because she is older and she's a duchess, I figured that her formal, um, wear would still be the royal colors, so she has the royal blue dress and she's wearing royal jewels and matching little royal earrings and of course, of course I got glasses for her and she's got the crown, so I think she looks so cute. And I tried to keep purple wherever I could because we know how much Duchess Lottie loves her purple and her sleepwear is so cute. I want this so bad. It is so cold where I live right now and I feel like this would be amazing to just snuggle up and watch a movie in. <laughs> I love her with her hair straightened. She is so fabulous and she knows it. So there she is, you guys. You're gonna have to let me know what you think. I think she is super cute and I'm really happy with how she turned out. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump back into the game. Perfect. So we have everyone back in the game here. Here's little Lottie. Oh, she's already on her cell phone. Looks like she's enjoying visiting with her older brother. She is super happy. She looks super cute in the game. And let's go take a peek at little Willow, who's just decided to... Oh, she's going to take a nap. Aw, she's so cute. I hope that she's going to be okay. I'm a little worried about her still. The last thing we have to do, unfortunately, is we need to move Roland out. I'm going to have him check his university application status one more time just to see if he got in because if that's the case, I might move him into university housing. <gasps> so... Roland got accepted, which means we can get him to come to the computer and register for university and we will move him out into university housing. The royal family always goes to the uh, Brychester 
he actually is not eligible to go to Brychester for the schooling that he wants to go to because he is undistinguished. So I actually, oh, he was thinking about Willow. He's probably worried about her health too. So unfortunately, um, little Roland is actually going to have to go to Foxbury. However, he isn't technically a royal, so maybe that kind of makes sense for him. And obviously we're paying with household funds. So with everything, his schooling will be 1,361 simoleons. And again, parents would definitely give him at least 50,000 to start. As he needs money, we will just send money to him. So there's Roland's bedroom. I gave him a nice dresser. He's got his old bed from home and I just gave him a little sitting area. And he was always really into movies as a kid, so I put a couple movie posters up around his house. And he's got pretty much everything he needs to be successful while he is away at school. Hopefully a little Roland will go out into the world and make something completely different from himself. So we love you, Roland. Good luck. We miss you and we hope to see you soon. So we will go ahead and go back to the house. Alrighty, you guys. So we are back at home. We just moved out Roland. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this episode up here. We are leaving it off with um, Madison being 45 years old and I think now that the kids have grown up and are starting to be more independent I think this is gonna be a great time for little Madison to maybe go on a little girls trip with her daughters and maybe go do some mountain climbing I think that her Victoria and little Lottie should go and have a fun girls trip so I think we're gonna try to do that in the next episode thank you so much for watching you guys I really appreciate it and until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. Yeah, I shook off all the bad vibes, cut me.